neighbor had written their own vows. Hopefully you'll be there. Amber, first and most important, I want to say I love you. All the times I say I love you more, I mean I love you more than the last time I told you I love you. From the first time we spoke, I knew there was something special between us. We were two people in two totally different places who weren't even looking for what we found in each other. I love the way you and I can talk about anything. We can laugh and sometimes cry. We can yell and scream and still kiss and make up. You've become my girlfriend, my fiance, and today you become my wife. But most importantly, you become my best friend. There was a time early on when we first started spending time with each other. We were at our Rocks enjoying the music and the atmosphere. When this older couple at the table next to us got up and started to dance. They were dancing with each other. We both watched in envy as the two of them seemed to enjoy each other, as if they were the only two people in the building, and the music was being played just for them. We turned to each other and both agreed that that would be us. In every way since, it's been that way. No matter what life has thrown at us, we have managed to dance as if we are the only people in the room and the music is playing just for you and me. I vow to be by your side through all the good times, but especially the times you don't even want me there. I vow to try really hard not to go behind you and reload the dishwasher after you just did it. I want you to know that deep down I secretly cherish all the times when you snuggle with me when you're really just trying to warm your feet. safe place for you to snuggle up to. Remember, from this day and all the days until our last, I vow to be your dance partner. This journey that we are on hasn't been easy and has already challenged us in many ways. Those challenges help strengthen our communication, commitment, and our love for each other. Today, I want to make promises to you that I will always keep. I promise to grow alongside you, but also to never grow up. I promise to make sure I'm not just hungry when I'm upset. I will try my hardest to step away from my stubbornness and accept that I am, to my dismay, not always right. I promise not to watch the next episode of The Good Doctor or Criminal Minds without you. I promise not to drink your drinks even though I'm thirsty and they're literally right there. I promise to always hang my towel up and squeeze the toothpaste from the bottle. <laughs> even though I think you enjoy all the little reminders of me everywhere, I promise to stop leaving my stuff all over your dresser, the counter, your truck, <laughs> all the other places. I really believe really my stuff. I will call you Howie instead of Howard, but don't expect me to ever be able to pronounce your middle name. <laughs> As your wife, I will never keep score, even though I'm totally winning, because everything we do is always a competition. And most importantly, today, in front of our family and friends, I take you as my husband. You've taught me what a healthy relationship is and have shown me what it means to be happy. You forever have my heart, my soul, 